This presentation exhibits the results of a study concerning poor bilingual readers' approaches to narrative texts and strategy use in L2. Reading is a complex process that is, consists of the combination amongst a variety of perceptive, psycholinguistic and cognitive abilities. Moreover, it requires decoding of the symbolic system of the language, while it aims at comprehension of the written text, accuracy and fluency from the part of the reader. There are three basic reading approaches to accomplish a reading task – bottom-up, top-down and interactive. In bottom-up processing, words are formed into phrases and phrases are formed into more abstract ideas. Further processing of these ideas either selects particular ones as main ideas or constructs main ideas from them and then thematic generalizations or abstractions out of the main ideas. Comprehension at the phrase or idea level results in a relatively shallow understanding of what the text directly states. On the other hand, in the top-down reading approach, reading begins from the bigger parts of written speech and moves to the smaller ones. The reader is expected to recognize letters at first, secondly recognize words, and in the end the reader gets the meaning intended by the writer by combining the words that he or she recognized earlier. The top-down reading approach demands skills that are connected with the systemical knowledge, promotes intensive reading, and is influenced by schema theory. During reading often occur both bottom-up and top-down processes. This is the interactive reading approach, where the higher levels of processing require prior knowledge to help a reader decide what is important, and especially to see the deeper implications of the text. The interactive approach is a combination of the practices and the advantages of intensive and extensive reading, depending on the reader's motives, background knowledge and language proficiency level. Reading strategies are the techniques that the reader implements in order to achieve comprehension and surpass obstacles. They have been defined as a specific, deliberate, goal-directed mental processes or behaviors which control and modify the reader's efforts to decode the text, understand words and construct meaning. Strategies have been classified into various taxonomies, but in this study the taxonomy of formalist mode was chosen for the reason that it incorporates synthetically all the other taxonomies. Hence, strategies are divided into cognitive, metacognitive and socio-affective ones. Studies conducted on reading strategies employed by bilingual learners indicate that poor readers make use of a limited number of cognitive and metacognitive strategies. Moreover, even though poor readers may be able to spot proper strategies suitable for them, they are not aware of choosing the most appropriate ones for a reading task or how to combine them effectively. Regarding reading approaches, Poor readers seem to prefer adopting bottom-up and interactive approaches where trying to comprehend a narrative text. The purpose of the study, derived from the influx of immigrants and thus bilingual children in Greek primary schools the last decade. The present study attempts to identify and record the reading approach and the strategies employed by successive bilingual children while reading in L2. The research questions posed were the following. Which reading approach is adopted by poor bilingual readers while reading Canal 2? And which cognitive, metacognitive and socio-affective strategies are employed? The sample consisted of 38 pupils, 5th and 6th graders, coming from Albanian immigrant low socioeconomic environment. The young pupils, successive bilinguals, attend Greek elementary school for 2 to 4 years. They were selected from a wider sample of 50 pupils on the basis of their low scores on the screening reading test that was distributed to them and the verification of their reading ability by their teacher's judgments. The research instruments were the thinking aloud protocols as well as the retrospective interviews. At first, each pupil was invited to read two narrative texts in Greek. Then, every student was asked to verbalize the thoughts that occurred to him or her while reading the text. After the Think Aloud sessions, semi-structured interviews were held with each student in order to gain further insight into their usual approach to reading process and strategies they employed. Then, the verbal data were analyzed qualitatively. From the qualitative analysis described above, 
20 codes emerged. Then the codes were classified in six categories. Afterwards, they were classified in two thematic categories regarding a. the reading process of narrative text and b. the use of strategy. The data collected set light on the process that bilingual pupils develop their comprehension of the text. Most of them tended to follow words other models, focusing on the linguistic level of comprehension. Twenty-one of them used the same bottom-up approach in order to get the gist of the narrative texts. Some of them preferred reading word by word due to their low reading efficacy, and some read small sentences on a low pace and word by word while trying to get the meaning. Several pupils follow the interactive approach in reading, either when reading the text once, either when they read it many times. Rereading seems to be a favorite technique, while most of the pupils reread the passage for better understanding, for detecting specific information, for decoding the graphemes of Greek language, to underline the unknown words, even for predicting the outcome of the story. Most of the times, these processes took place simultaneously. In this phase of reading again and again, pupils prefer reading word by word or sentence by sentence rather than reading the whole passage all over. Regarding the top-down approach, skimming was only employed by a minority of the pupils, not only in order to become familiar with the meaning of the text, but also to enhance reading speed. Scanning for certain information was reported by two pupils who declared that they seek for keywords and information concerning the characters of the plot. Concerning the cognitive strategies identified, pupils seem to adopt certain strategies in almost every difficult situation. Skipping the difficult parts was a strategy bilinguals adopted for whatever they did not understand. Another favorable strategy was guessing the meaning of the words by its letters. In word-level difficulties, spelling words was a strategy employed by many pupils. Thirty-one pupils were involved in translation of the difficult parts in their mother tongue. 30 underlined unknown words, whereas 26 often consciously repeated reading at a word or sentence level in their attempt to have a better understanding and deal with limitations in comprehension. Division of the polysyllable words into smaller parts and imagery were fairly used by a large part of the sample. One third of the pupils made mention of skimming the text before reading it intensively in order to activate their prior knowledge. Concerning the metacognitive strategies identified, though being very limited, it is observed that the majority of the participants were engaged in self-correction processes when they realized their mistakes, mostly in spelling or comprehension. Moreover, 18 pupils claimed that they evaluated their competence after every reading task, judging themselves by the quality of their spelling and the level of their making meaning from the text. Few pupils mentioned that they were monitoring their pace of reading. Data reveal that the socio-affective strategies appear to be the most famous strategies amongst poor bilinguals, with asking the teacher for clarification being the most reported strategy. Similarly, asking a peer for clarification was also preferred. Seventeen pupils claimed that they need feedback about the correctness of their answers, their proper pronunciation of words, or their understanding of a text. Some of them referred that they make self-encouraging comments to themselves in order to reach a reading goal or find information. The findings of the research are in line with the results of past ones conducted in the field of second language learning. As marked, most of the pupils of the sample adopt interactive and mostly bottom-up approaches in reading narrative texts. This constrained and inflexible way of reading may be attributed to pupils' low language competence. Another finding was that the majority of the pupils used a variety of cognitive strategies but restricted to the less effective strategies, such as skipping, rereading, use of video entry and translation in mother tongue. The occurrence of few metacognitive strategies reveals that pupils monitor their reading process and are partially aware of their difficulties. Considering the aforementioned findings, we suggest that L2 instruction should promote bilingual students' linguistic development through training them into using a variety of strategies. The students should be actively involved in reading-related activities to identify difficult words, concepts and ideas, be aware of whether they understand what they are reading and be aware of the strategies they use, 
and be aware of the organizational structure of virus that generates.